it's still an active investigation. And, and I understand there will be, and that we will continue to receive lots of questions uh, regarding our investigation, and we will release what we can. Uh, but at this time, uh, our commitment is to this family. And uh, that that is where we will consistently uh, reach for making decisions on what we release. Uh, and it, again, it is still an, a very active investigation. You all those folks and, and provide a feedback off of all that, it takes an army of people. And I, I think we were lucky to be able to put that together between uh, my partners and, and agencies that are right behind me. Did any of the juveniles, anybody mention a car going over the side, a car in the water, a them? I don't believe that that statement was made, not to my knowledge. Was there any indication of an accident? That's still being investigated. If, if we'd like, we could turn it over for CHP can give some information. Uh, they are conducting the accident investigation utilizing their mate team. Good morning, uh, Josh Ellers, Assistant Chief with CHP Valley Division based in Sacramento, which Truckee's a part of. Um, I can confirm that our department is conducting a fatality traffic collision investigation. We're harnessing all of our resources, working with all of our partners here. Uh, as you see, we're utilizing our MATE team, our multidisciplinary accident investigation team to harness more data from the vehicle that was recovered. We're also, we've utilized all of our air resources to map and video and take photographs of the area in question. And that's currently ongoing. So I, I can't comment on the nature and details of that investigation, but I certainly appreciate all the partnership that we have here with our local county and state partners. We'll continue to assist in any overarching way that we can as an agency. So many questions still surrounding what happened to Kylie Rodney that night of the party. Why was Sammy so sure she wasn't in the water and had been taken and abducted? That wouldn't have been my first guess. And just from following this case, the majority of people's guesses were that she was in the water. Everyone but Sammy. Why? Um, I'm, and I'm... Yeah, so there have been dive teams sent in, and I can pretty much only say they've done thorough, thorough searches through the waters, through the lakes surrounding. They are searching the waters. They are searching the campgrounds and everywhere, related na lakes that are near, because Boca and Stampede are two reservoirs that are near there as well. And they are doing searches through there every single day. They have been for the past three days. They have done extensive searches to points that you wouldn't even yeah. believe the FBI and those people oh, I, they are going. I, I, I'm to be fully honest, my biggest concern is that somebody, and I've said this in other interviews, somebody knew she was drunk, offered to give her a ride home, and they didn't give her a ride home. And they could be across the world at this point with how long she's been gone. And I'm just, I'm worried that I have a feeling and obviously I, I don't know i have a feeling that she is still alive and she's still out there and she's still fighting but that there's somebody else involved and that's not confirmed that's just what i believe i i think there has to be somebody else involved in this but that's yeah her car was parked right there um along there um that's where we would go and everything the party was set up over here, uh, where that white car is, is where the majority of kids were standing. And between these three trees right here, this is where the uh, lights were hung up and there were cars along here. Here's the road you take to get out here. Where that white car is, is where the majority of kids were standing. And between these three trees right here, this is where the uh, lights were hung up. A friend showed us the area where an estimated two to three hundred young partiers had gathered. There were cars all up in here. And Kylie Rodney was last seen around 1230 in the morning. I went up to her and I said, hey, I got another ride home because she was meant to be my ride home, but I knew she was too intoxicated to get me home. So I said, hey, I found another ride home. Like, I hope you stay safe. Like, I'll see you tomorrow. Like, I love you. Like, have fun and stuff. I think it's totally possible that somebody could have taken her and maybe offered to drive her home. Friends discounting the possibility Kylie tried to drive home on the dark campground roads and accidentally went into the lake. They searched into the forest, they searched into the water, they have searched in every single place and there's no tire tracks or anything from what I know. Need you to be looking out for Kylie and Kylie's car. Right now. Is anybody willing to go to Reno and maybe Midtown? Yeah, perfect. 
I also find it interesting that Sammy mentioned the moon roof. Right under the windshield wiper, right the under that is where the back windshield, the back windshield, the animal. It's a sticker of a bull, the animal, like a cow with horns. Okay. Right under the back um, windshield, windshield wiper. Okay. It's right under that. And wow. her car does have hubcaps because in a lot of these pictures, cars don't have hubcaps. Her car has Honda hubcaps. Okay. Wow. So look for that car that has a, it may have a bowl uh, sticker, a sticker of a bowl on the back window that, that 2013 Honda CRV. Um, it's a silver yeah. car. And there's a with sunroof a, as well. And it has a sunroof. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's another good t detail. So it has a sunroof and it has a bowl sticker. There's a sticker of a bowl, the animal, a bowl uh, on the, uh, underneath the back uh, wiper, the rear wiper, the rear. Yes, right underneath it. The press conference didn't give us much, but what stood out to me was they claim Adventures with Purpose found the vehicle based off a tip that wasn't made to the public. They also have a special accident analysis team looking over the investigation, which they say is still active and ongoing. They want to make it clear that they don't know yet if this was an accident or if foul play was involved. They also said they have no reason to believe the car wasn't there the night of the party. What stood out to you guys? Comment down below and let me know your questions or what specifically you noticed in the press conference from today.